Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Today I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts on what I don't like about the Fendi Peekaboo Iconic Mini. So I've had this bag now for just under one and a half years and it's still my absolute dream bag. I love it, it's such a beautiful bag. It's by far the favorite in my collection, but it's also by far the most expensive in my collection. And I know that before I got this, I um, spent a long time thinking about the bag and whether I could justify getting such an expensive bag. And so I thought this might be useful in case you are considering buying this bag and wanted to know some of the cons, just some things to consider in your decision. Hopefully it will help. So I've got five cons that I want to share, which are I think pretty much the only cons, well, I couldn't think of any other cons really of this bag. So I've got five cons. But firstly, let me just show you. So this is the Iconic Mini in the black Nappa leather with the gold hardware. And then I have attached a Fendi wrappy to it just to accessorize the bag. And my version is the newer version, which came out last year. And I think the only difference is that it has the thicker strap which I think is such a good change that they made to this because the previous um, versions had a much thinner strap, which I felt was too thin for the bag. So I was really pleased that this one came out just as I got it. So um, yeah, very happy with that. So let's start with my first con. And that is that the leather is so, so soft, which is of course, a pro in my opinion anyway, but it means that it is not that durable and it is more prone to scratches and scuffs than most other leathers. So honestly, this is super buttery soft, which actually makes it for this bag um, for me. And it was a reason why I chose this particular style but it does mean that um, you have to be a bit more careful if you want the bag to stay in a very good condition for a long time. So when I carry this bag, I am considerate of what I'm using it for. It's not an everyday bag for me. And I do have to think about things like if it's really raining outside, I won't carry this bag. Um, if I'm going somewhere where it's going to be very crowded, if I'm going to you know, a crowded bar, for example, uh, I wouldn't take this bag and I've got many other bags that I would take. So for me, that's not an issue because I um, considered that before buying this bag. But if you're looking to buy this bag as your main everyday bag, then definitely something to think about, about how much you care about the bag sort of staying in a pristine condition. The second con is that these turn locks here, which you have on both sides of the bag, are quite sharp in the corners. Um, you know, obviously just in a standard way, they're not going to scratch you or anything like that. But when you're trying to get in and out of the bag, I do find that these sometimes do kind of scuff my hands a little bit and they can be a tiny bit painful. Or oh, painful is probably exaggeration, but um, it's not the most comfortable thing. And then also just bear in mind, if you have softer SLGs, for example, then you just want to make sure that you're not pulling it against the turn lock as you bring it out of the bag. And the opening isn't huge either. So it's not like you've got lots of space to play around with. The third con is that there are no feet on this bag. And usually I am not particularly bothered by feet on a bag, I'm happy to put them down on most surfaces, but because of the nature of the Nappa leather, it's again something where I just am more cautious about putting this bag onto a rougher surface, or, you know, sometimes you get tables where they're a little bit stickier, either because of the um, cleaning products or just because there's some like drinks on it or anything like that. So I'm just a little bit more careful about where I put this bag. And I think this bag is large enough for feet. And also because it is designed to sit flat on a surface, I do think that Fendi should have provided some feet for this. So that's the third one. The fourth con is when you wear this bag crossbody, 
or even when it's just on like one shoulder um it kind of makes it more difficult to access the side that's closest to your body so this is the front of my bag this is the back but as you lean that against your body then of course the bag is kind of just sitting against your body and it closes up this compartment naturally and so it just means that whilst you've got this crossbody, it can be quite difficult to access things in the back of this bag. And sometimes I find I have to pull the bag away from my body before getting in to access whatever it is I want from this compartment. So that's another little niggle just with the style of this bag with it having um, the top handle in the middle of the bag. And that is where the chain, uh, sorry, the strap is attached to. And then finally, the last thing that I don't really like about this bag is that um, to close this bag, so you have these turn locks here. And sometimes I quite want to close one side of the bag. Also, if you wear this crossbody, it's actually much more comfortable to close the side that is against your body. So it lays flat and then you've got easy access to everything on the outside. However, I've seen from other YouTubers videos on this bag and also you can actually see here in, in this as well that when you close the compartment, it puts a stress on the leather and you can see it kind of strains it. So you get this kind of pinching towards the middle where the clasp is. And you can also see that there's then some creases and wrinkles in the leather. And I know that over time with this, it does get worse from the other videos I've seen. And it's not a look that I particularly like. And whilst this bag still feels quite new to me, um, I do feel like I want to keep it in a really good condition for as long as possible. I'm sure it will get to a point a few years down the line where I am closing this and I just use the bag like this all the time. But for now, it just kind of pains me to see the creases and everything on the leather. So I wish if there was a way of having this closing mechanism without having that strain on the leather, then, you know, I wish Fendi would come out with a style like that. But that is um, everything I have to say in terms of what I don't like about this bag. It is so incredibly beautiful. I love using this. I love how understated it is. I love the functionality of it in general. I love that it's all lined in leather. It is such a beautiful bag. And of course, the main thing is how smooth and soft the leather is. So if you are thinking about getting this, then it's a great choice. Um, but uh, just I hope those cons helped you in case any of those are things that would be quite a big deal to you. Um, then, of course, it's something to check out and maybe reconsider before buying this bag. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do have any questions, I'd be more than happy to try and answer them. So please just pop them in the comments below and I will see you in my next one.